gentlemen, and welcome to the most embarrassing vehicle versions video of all time. But you know what? It looks so ridiculous. We figured we had to go to Rodeo Drive and see what people think of it. I have never felt more judged in my entire life. Just even filming this intro in this gas station, everyone's like, the hell did that kid do to that car? Let's roll. Uh, so I'm literally avoiding eye contact with anyone. I actually feel like the most hated person right now. Uh, a little bit like Little Tay. Rest in peace, Little Tay. up to my buddy Steve and Bat Ventador. Yay, well, we came to Rodeo for some reactions. We're gonna toss a GoPro on the car and then walk away from it. Actually go eat over there, hopefully nobody steals this thing. Cause I feel like when you're not standing around the car, you're gonna get some more genuine reactions. Just finished up lunch. I can't wait to review that GoPro footage because I imagine, judging by people, the way they were looking at this thing, that it's gonna be pretty funny. But now we are headed to Rodeo Drive. It's a Sunday, so there's gonna be a lot of people out there. Let's see what they think. This is what I love about the car community in Southern California. We're just out here going to do a reactions video on Rodeo Drive. All of a sudden, we met up with Bat Ventador. We got Steve in the green Huracan. And behind us, this guy I just met, super friendly, in a LP640, hell yeah. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh. I love cars! Lambo Squad! Oh my god! They're all so great. Look at this guy's wig. Look at this guy's wig. Nice hair! Wow, hey. You hear the tour bus just screaming? It's Justin Bieber! guy on Instagram before but oh my god seeing that in person he also, he also took my rap I don't care that much because I've taken it off but like that was a curveball I was not expecting <laughs> well I would say that was successful I've never seen that many people on Rodeo Drive let alone that many people staring at this hideous rap well, probably mostly they were staring at the kid running around screaming now we're gonna try to take this rap off and see if there is any underlying damage to the car I'm praying that there's not but yeah, I'm praying there's not. 
This is a 20 minute parking loading zone, so I'm gonna try to do it quickly before I get a ticket because yeah, they're ruthless around here. Because I did enough layers, I mean, at the end, I probably had about five full layers on this thing. I mean, look at that. That, that comes off pretty easy. On normal wraps, like if you got your uh, car fully wrapped, you usually have to apply heat uh, to get it off cleanly, and it might potentially break off in layers, but this, I mean, doesn't get that much easier to take this off. It's like removing a, I don't know what it's like removing, actually, it's, I've never, yeah, nothing compares to this. I know who you are <laughs> on YouTube. Oh, yeah, dude. Well, good to meet you. Okay, hold on. It's on this Instagram. Yeah, Sasha. Perfect. Okay, I gotcha. So we got this awesome subscriber here who came up and uh, he's letting me ride this booster board. So, hope I don't die. I feel like Casey nice that. Oh, yeah. Talent. Okay, I cannot ride in this direction at all. Ah! This is extraordinarily satisfying. Look at that. Oh, yes. Maybe there's a new genre of YouTube of like people taking off Plasti Dip. No. Nope. What are you guys doing tonight? Plasti yeah, Dip? Yeah, Plasti Dip, bro. <laughs> ah, that's too bad. I am curious how big this ball of Plasti Dip is going to be when I've removed all of it off the car. Honestly, this is like half of the wrap so far and that's not all that much material. big can we make it? Oh wow! God, wow! This is great! Oh. oh, don't get too excited! I'm excited! Oh. Yes! That was like that whole That's thing. That's pretty awesome. So my only real concerns, which there are honestly are none, is just stuff like this. But it appears if you're kind of gentle, it comes off very, very easily. We masked off a lot of the places that we thought would be trouble areas, stuff like this, especially in here. So far, so good. days, two videos, and a hell of a lot of laughs, and this is all that is left of the Plasti Dipped Huracan. It's a little bit more material than I was expecting, but it came off really, really quick, and I've looked over the car. There is zero paint damage. Yes, it was risky doing this on a Lamborghini, but I trusted the internet, which you should never do, and it came out fine. So if you have something like a Pagani Huayra or a Veyron Supersport or Chiron, I highly recommend doing this. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video.